make yourself at home. Everybody's welcome at Kadoody, oh yeah. We're gonna sing and we're gonna read the word. All of it is worship when we do it for the Lord. Clap your hands with me. Stomp your feet to the beat. Jump up and down with me. Take a deep breath and scream. Kidonio! No one's gonna stop us. Kidonio! There's a God above who loves us. Kidonio! Hi kiddos, I'm Kristen and I'm so glad you're here. We are in a series called, Who is God? Have you ever wondered what God is like? In the Bible, God is called by many different names and each of those names tell us something about him. In this series, we'll act like detectives as we answer the question, who is God? Let's take out our magnifying glasses and discover the name of God we're learning about today. One of God's names is God of all comfort. Have you ever felt sad or lonely or scared before? Sometimes we want someone or something to comfort us and help us feel better, like a parent or a stuffed animal or a special blanket. God is known as the God of all comfort because he's always there to help us and comfort us. Let's learn more by practicing our big idea. That's the super important thing we're learning about today. Excuse me, but what's the big idea? The big idea is God comforts me. God can comfort us whenever we feel sad or lonely or scared. Well, now let's stand up and practice the big idea. I'll say a part first and you can repeat after me. Ready? The big idea. God comforts me. Great job. Turn around. Now let's say the big idea all together in our croaking frog voices. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. The big idea. Ribbit, ribbit. God comforts me. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Great. Turn around. Now let's say the big idea like we're a flying airplane. Vroom, vroom, vroom. The big idea. Vroom, vroom, vroom. God comforts me. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Awesome. Turn around. Now let's say the big idea one more time in our mood. Cow voices. Moo, moo, the big idea. Moo, moo, God comforts me. Moo, moo. Great job, kiddos. You can sit down. The big idea is so important that we're going to say it again during our time together. Whenever you see a magnifying glass and hear this sound, it's time to say the big idea. And every time we say it, we'll get to search for something that reminds us of God's name. A picture of a teddy bear reminds us that God comforts us when we're sad or scared. Let's take out our magnifying glasses and see if we can find a picture of the teddy bear hiding in this picture. There it is! Great job! Well, next, we get to learn more by going on a Bible adventure. It's time for a Bible adventure. Oh, hey, oh. Oh, hey, oh. Here we go. <laughs> the Bible is the greatest book ever. 
it's full of words from God. It also has a lot of true stories about who God is and what he's like. Today, we get to read a story about a man named Elijah and see how God comforts him. Elijah was a prophet. That means Elijah told people messages that he heard from God. During this time, there was a king named Ahab who had turned away from God and was doing very bad things. Many people were worshiping a false god instead of the one true God. So Elijah gathered them together to show them God's power. Elijah prayed to God and fire came down from heaven. Everyone who saw it was amazed. King Ahab told his wife Jezebel about what Elijah had done. Jezebel was so angry that she wanted to kill Elijah. Elijah was very afraid. He ran into the desert and sat down under a small bush. Elijah told God how he was feeling and then he fell asleep. Suddenly an angel of the Lord touched Elijah. The angel said, get up and eat. Next to his head, Elijah saw some fresh bread and a jar of water. Elijah ate and drank. Then he lay back down again to rest. The angel came a second time and told Elijah to get up and eat. Elijah did, and the food gave him new strength. God had comforted Elijah by giving him rest, food, and something to drink. Now Elijah was ready to continue doing whatever God asked him to do. Great listening, kiddos. God comforted Elijah when he was feeling scared. And God can comfort us, too. Oh, that's our big idea sound. Let's say it together. The big idea. God comforts me. Great job. Now we get to take out our magnifying glasses and search for the picture of the teddy bear. It reminds us that God comforts us. Do you see it, kiddos? There it is. Great job. Well, now it's time to practice our memory verse. Memory verse, memory verse. You can remember the memory verse. Hey, hey. Hi, kiddos. It's time to sing our memory verse song. This verse comes from the Bible, and it's all about praising God. We can praise God because he's good, loving, powerful, and kind. Let's stand up and sing this verse together. Let us praise the name of the Lord, both now and forever. Let us praise the name of the Lord, Psalm 113, verse 2. Great job, kiddos. Turn around. This time, let's sing the verse again in our super quiet whisper voices. Ready? Let us praise the name of the Lord, both now and forever. Let us praise the name of the Lord, Psalm 113, verse 2. Great job, kiddos. Turn around. Now let's sing the verse one more time in our super loud voices. Ready? Let us praise the name of the Lord, both now and forever. Let us praise the name of the Lord, Psalm 113, verse 2. Super job practicing the memory verse. Stay standing because we're going to sing another song together. This song is all about an important book called the Bible that can help us get to know God better. The B I B L E. 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 Yes, that.
Thanks for singing with me. You can sit down. Did you hear that, kiddos? It's time to say our big idea. The big idea. God comforts me. Great job. Now let's take out our magnifying glasses and look for the picture of the teddy bear that's hiding in this picture. Can you find it? There it is. Great job, detectives. Well, now it's time for us to try out what we've learned today. Try it out. Try it out. You'll never know until you try it out. That's right. Hi, detectives. We're trying to answer the question, who is God, by looking at some of the names of God in the Bible. So, let's put on our detective hats, take out our magnifying glasses, and get ready to investigate. Who is God? Let's find out a little more. Who? Who? Today, we learned that one of God's names is God of all comfort. That means that God can help us when we feel sad, afraid, or lonely. Since the Bible is full of God's true words, let's use our magnifying glasses and find a Bible verse that talks about God being our comforter. Hmm, 2 Corinthians 7, 6 says, But God comforts those who are sad. That's amazing. God comforts us when we're sad. We heard a Bible story today where God comforted a man named Elijah when he felt afraid. The queen was very angry with Elijah and he was afraid. Elijah ran away into the desert and sat under a bush. Then an angel of the Lord appeared to Elijah and gave him bread, water, and a nap. This gave Elijah new strength to do the things God was asking him to do. Detectives, God comforted Elijah when he felt afraid by giving him food, water, and some rest. God comforts us too. And speaking of comfort, I'm going on a camping trip soon and I'm feeling a little nervous to sleep outside. Let's go outside and I'll show you what I'm bringing on my trip. Maybe there'll be some things that comfort me. Come on. All right, detectives. I have some things that I'm bringing on my camping trip right here. Let's use our magnifying glasses and see if we can spy anything that would bring me comfort while I'm camping. Ooh, this is a blanket. Do you think this would bring me comfort on my camping trip? I think so. I think this would keep me nice and warm while I'm sleeping and would be really cozy. Let's see if I can find something else. Kiddos, it's a snack. Would this snack be able to comfort me? I think so. If I start to feel really hungry on the camping trip, I can just eat this snack and feel better. Hmm. Let's see if there's anything else. Oh, this is a sweatshirt. Do you think this might bring me comfort on my camping trip? I think so. If it gets really cold at night, I can put on my sweatshirt and feel nice and warm. Wow, it turns out I brought a lot of things that will help me feel comfortable on my camping trip. But did you know that there's someone who will comfort us no matter where we are or what we're going through? Do you remember who it is, kiddos? Yes, God. God can give us his peace and comfort when we're feeling afraid. He can help us feel better when we're feeling sad. And he can remind us that he's always with us when we feel lonely. So when you need some comfort, remember that God is the God of all comfort and he is always ready to help us. 
I'll see you next time, detectives. Well, now it's time to celebrate all we learned today by standing up and going Kiddo Wampus together. It's time for Kiddo Wampus. Let's go, Kiddo Wampus. It's time for Kiddo Wampus. Let's jump around and Kiddo Wampus. Singing it's time for Kiddo Wampus. Let's go, Kiddo Wampus. It's time for Kiddo Wampus. Let's jump around and Kiddo Wampus. Singing Kid O Wampus. Kid O Wampus. What? Kid. Let's jump around the kid of Wampus! It's time for Musical Kiddos! When different instruments come up on the screen, pretend that you are playing them. But when Tweet the Bird flies by, be as quiet as you can. Ready? Here we go! Piano! Let's hear your guitar! Saxophone! Let's hear you play the drums! Trumpet. Bravo. That was a super fun kid of Wampus. You can sit down because now it's time to talk to God together. When we do that, it's called praying. God loves when you talk to him, and he's always listening to you. If you want to, you can repeat this prayer after me. Dear God, we love you. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for comforting us. Amen. I've had so much fun learning more about God today, kiddos. This week, if you ever feel sad, scared, or lonely, ask God to comfort you. He loves you so much. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.